ladies and gentlemen, um, if you go to your class in the stream, you're going to see that I'm putting this presentation here also, um, telling you what your expectations are. You can also find it or find information under your origami cranes unit on how to do your work. The presentation that we used in class is right here. It has videos, it has the paper tutorial in there if you lost your paper tutorial. If you didn't lose your paper tutorial and you remember what you're doing, here's a quick reminder of the expectations for today while I'm out. Everyone was provided one of these handouts on origami I have extra handouts at the front of the room next to my smart board. You were expected with my help on Monday and Tuesday to make three origami uh, paper cranes out of these three colors of paper. One pink, one blue, one green. They're normal uh, printer papers that are cut in squares. On the pink, you had to write a message of what you think peace means as your own definition. On the blue, you had to write a wish that you had about um, anything as long as it's school appropriate and on the green you had to write a message of peace in the world on all of them when you were done folding your cranes you had to make sure your names were on them i told you to store these cranes in your portfolios i still expect you to store them in your portfolios even if you did not finish them until today on wednesday so putting these papers to the side you have to make a total of five cranes. You have to make two more cranes, but the last two are gonna be with a good origami paper. We have miniature paper in a variety of colors. We have medium-sized paper in a variety of colors. And we have a very few sheets of the large paper. That's all they had available um, in a variety of colors. And the colors that I know most of you are gonna be excited about are the metallics. I have just enough colors for everyone to make one metallic crane if you want to make one metallic crane, but you cannot make more than one. Um, so please do not go grab more than one sheet, only one. In total, like I said, you had to make five cranes, three out of the printer paper and then two out of the good paper. If you end up finishing your cranes and you want to make more cranes, which the expectation is make as many cranes as you possibly can make so we can make our upstairs beautiful. Each crane that you make past the five is worth two tickets. So if, for example, I made a total of 10 cranes, five cranes would go towards my grade, the other five cranes would be my extra credit, and I would get 10 tickets of extra credit. Don't forget, written on my board, I have student teachers' names that can help you with making your cranes if you are struggling and need assistance. Also, don't forget, there are videos on YouTube that you can use for origami cranes. You can also access on our Google Classroom the information with videos and this paper handout of how to make origami cranes. I hope you are good for the substitute and have a wonderful day. Thank you.